Good morning, everyone, and thank you for coming. I'm Council Member Robert Cornegie, Chair of the Council's Committee on Housing and Buildings. We're here to hold the vote on proposed intro number 948A, a bill related to heat sensors in certain multiple dwellings, and proposed intro number 1211A, a bill related to homeless set-asides in certain housing development projects. First, we'll vote on proposed intro 948A, sponsored by Councilmember Torres. The New York City Housing Maintenance Code requires building owners to maintain certain minimum indoor temperatures from October 1st through May 31st. It's not always clear, however, whether building owners are properly complying with these requirements. Those who repeatedly violate heat requirements should be held accountable and subject to greater inspection by the Department of Pres Housing Preservation and Development. This bill will require HPD to identify the top 50 worst violators of the code's heat requirements. Owners of these 50 buildings would be required to install internet-capable temperature reporting devices in each dwelling unit to help monitor indoor air temperatures. This bill would also require HPD to inspect these 50 buildings at least once every two weeks to ensure compliance. Second, we'll vote on proposed intro 1211A sponsored by Councilmember Salamanca. Each night, many homeless individuals and families sleep in the city shelter systems and many others on the streets, in the subway system and other public spaces. Research shows that the primary cause of homelessness, especially for families, is a lack of affordable housing. This bill will require developers who receive city financial assistance for new construction to set aside at least 15% of rental units for homeless individuals and families. This bill would apply only to new construction of multiple dwellings subject to a regulatory agreement with a federal, state, or local government agency, and with at least 41 new units offered for rent. I'm joined today by Council Members Lewis, Chin, Rivera, Salamanca, Perkins, Gradenchik, and Torres. We'll hear from Council Member Salamanca, sponsor of proposed intro number 1211A on his bill. Thank you, uh, Chair Carnegie and members of the Committee on Housing and Buildings for letting me speak today. Last October, I introduced Intro 1211 because it was clear to me then that we were experiencing a, ho a homeless crisis unlike anything we have ever seen. Despite initiative after initiative from past administrations, the shelter population has risen from 35,000 people in 2008 to 63,000 by 2018. A report by the Coalition for the Homeless at the time declared homelessness in New York City had reached the highest level since the Great Depression. As I worked with advocates to gain support for Intro 1211 and met with those who experienced life in shelters on a daily basis, it was very apparent that we needed bold citywide policy to address an issue that had reached a critical juncture. In January of this year, we reached a record number of individuals living in, sh in the shelter. 63,839. Contrary to the stigma surrounding shelters, the faces of homelessness reflect families struggling to keep up with rising rents and stagnant wages. Families make up more than two-thirds of the homeless shelter population, while school-aged children account for an overwhelming percentage of those living in shelter. This morning, over 22,000 children got ready for school in a New York City shelter. Let that sink in. While I've been instituting a 15% set aside in my own district over the last year and a half, creating over 121 units for homeless individuals and families in that time, what we need is a citywide policy on a project by project basis. Homelessness is an issue that affects constituents in all of our districts. If we are truly going to do our part, it starts today. Today, we have the opportunity to vote on legislation that will tackle both the housing crisis and the homelessness crisis. We face the predicament of record numbers of people in shelters because there has been a lack of permanent solutions to address the issue on hand. Intro 1211 gives us a path forward to creating what advocates, shelter residents, and people within the administration have been calling for, thousands of new permanent housing for the homeless. Intro 1211 has earned the endorsement of the House Our Family Future Campaign, Speaker Johnson, Controller Scott Stringer, Public Advocate Jamani Williams, and 37 colleagues in the City Council, including a major, a majority of the members on this committee. I urge you 
to stand with homeless advocates and the 62,000 people who call the New York who call New York shelters home and vote in favor of Intro 1211. And I will be remiss if I don't give a big shout out to my team, Brian Haiti, for really helping me with this. Um, and, you know, Coalition for the Homeless, uh, Giselle, and also Vocal New York, Paulette, they really help uh, get this to the finish line with Speaker Johnson. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you so much, uh, Councilmember Salamanca, and congratulations. Uh, we'll now hear from uh, Councilmember Richie Torres on his bill. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. I'm uh, grateful for the opportunity to vote on Intro 948, which I see as a real breakthrough in modernizing housing code enforcement. During the heating season, there's no housing condition about which we receive more complaints than the loss of heat and hot water, both in private and public housing. Under my legislation, instead of waiting for 311 calls, HPD will proactively, will conduct proactive biweekly inspections in buildings that have the highest number of heat and hot water complaints and will require heat sensors in buildings that have the highest number of heat and hot water violations. So HPD, through these heat sensors, will have the ability to monitor heat and hot water levels in real time. I think this is a real breakthrough in modernizing housing code enforcement and making it more tech savvy and making it more proactive rather than reactive. And I'm excited that the city council is gonna vote it into law. Having, uh, th this is actually one of those days that make me incredibly proud to be a New York City Council member, but really proud to be the chair of a committee um, that has so, so much bold and timely legislation. Um, you know, oftentimes, you know, it's joked that we don't do much here at the City Council, but really to improve the lives of some of the most least fortunate in our city through legislation is what we get up every day to do. So I want to congratulate my colleagues on this great legislation, and I'm, I'm ready to call the roll. So, Billy Martin, if you call the roll so I can proudly vote aye. William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote, committee on housing and buildings. Items are coupled. Chair Cornegie. I proudly vote aye. Chin. Permission to explain my vote? Of course. Um, I also wanted to express my gratitude um, on this legislation, and I agree with my colleague that um, Councilmember Torres, you know, the heat and hot water complaint is such a big issue also in my district and that we're taking a bold step and in terms of really modernizing um, how HPD can really help solve these problems and congratulations to Councilmember Salamanca. We have to solve this homeless crisis and they need permanent housing, the children need permanent housing and this is a bold step. And I congratulate you, and uh, thank you to all the advocates, and I proudly vote aye also. Thank you. Torres. I vote aye in holding the Grinches accountable. So. Grinchik. Aye. Perkins. Aye, and uh, I would like my uh, name listed to those who are supporters of uh, the legislation. Yes. Rivera. Congratulations to my colleagues. I'd probably vote aye. Lewis. Also want to congratulate my colleagues on these two great pieces of legislation and look forward to seeing so much more. Probably vote aye. My vote of seven in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. Both items have been adopted by the committee. This, uh, this hearing on housing and buildings is closed. Hmm.